And the truth is this can be applied to any role. You either approach something through an exploratory point of view or you do through a linear iterative point of view. This morning I was interviewing someone for the role of an editor and it got me thinking because I asked this question, are you more of an exploratory kind of person or are you more iterative? Are you more logical? Are you, are you building up cut after cut or version after version? There's no right or wrong answer. Malcolm Gladwell has a great podcast, Revisionist History, and he talks in one of the episodes about the ways that artists or people arrive at their work. And he starts by talking about Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen and how Leonard Cohen had, had written this song and spent so many years working on it and, and, and written, like, I don't know what he wrote, 90 different versions of the song or something over the course of like eight or 10 years and he was tortured by it because he could never figure out how to crack the code of the song. And ultimately it was uh, Jeff Buckley's version of the song that, that was recorded that then became popularized. But, but most people don't even know Leonard Cohen's version of it and how many times he worked at it. Gladwell goes on to talk about this artist who painted this series of paintings and I'm a linear thinker, so to me, each painting would build upon itself. It would start with the first one, then you'd, you would do the second painting, and the third painting, and the fourth painting, and by the time you hit the fifth painting, that's the best one. But this artist, the third painting was the best one, because it wasn't this linear way of approaching things where you're constantly progressing and making iterative improvements. It was completely exploring things, and every new blank canvas was an opportunity to try something new. And who's to say that the fifth one is the best one because that's the last one you do? Because with this exploratory approach, the third one was clearly the best one. By the time you got to the fifth one, it was actually worse, it was devolving. What I have learned from this, and I've seen it within my team, you know, I have two really great director producers who've been with me a long time. One of them approaches work the way that I do, which is through this iterative improvement. You know, if we're writing scripts, if we're writing copy, if you're doing editing, if you're doing a campaign, little steps lead towards a better outcome each time and you only change the things that need to be changed or addressed. Whereas with this other producer, he's very exploratory. And so he's always changing stuff because he's always searching for a potential better thing or better outcome. That's the difference between a linear approach, iterative improvement approach to anything creative where you feel you are only gonna address the things that are broken and the things that aren't broken you're gonna leave to constantly stair step up to better and better and better work. Whereas the exploratory way is to say, I don't really know what's working and not working and that's okay. I'm gonna keep trying things until I land on something that clearly is right. So the key takeaway with this is as you're building out your teams, one, know what type of work uh, approach people take so that way you can pair people up appropriately and two considering yourself what your approach is because as the as the business owner as the leader as the entrepreneur you're gonna set the tone for the entire culture and yeah you can have people who mix and match and I encourage that the more perspectives you can have the stronger the team is But you gotta make sure you're not driving everyone crazy so, so you let me know what you think you know ultimately I 